what I'm going to do is go to my hyper shade. I'm going to go down to shader and all the way down to AI wireframe. Now this will do just fine. So I'm going to select everything, hold right click on that material. And then the 12 o'clock position is assigned material to selection. If I go ahead and render this, you'll see that the wireframe is working. But I really don't like all the triangles in my hyper shade with the AI wireframe selected. I'm going to change this from triangles to polygons, re-render that. But you'll notice that there aren't any lights in the scene and yet I can still see it. That's because by default, this AI wireframe actually glows. Let's say I had some lights. I'm going to sky dome acting as my fill and this simple area light. I can't see any of the shading. For example, if I were to throw my Lambert back on here, can't see the shadows, anything like that. So what if I want to keep the lighting and have the wireframe? Well, this is what you'll do for that. What I'm going to do is just make myself a brand new lamp or whatever material that you'd like. Under color, instead of inputting a texture, I'm gonna hit this checker box and then find that AI wireframe. So I'm gonna go to shader, AI wireframe. So now I have a new one. I don't need that one. I can delete it. In this new one, we're gonna change this back to polygons. Through this Lambert, it's actually connected. If we render this with Arnold, this is what we're getting. Let's grab all the geometry, hold right click on the Lambert, not the AI wireframe. So I've added this new Lambert. I have all my lights, things are good. Let's render and boom. Now now I have my wireframe uh, that's like sitting on top of my Lambert and I get to keep all my lights, all my shading, all that wonderful stuff. So if you're interested in learning more about lighting in Maya, watch this video.